the latter day sign of Jonah, Luke chapter 11 and verse 29. And when the people were gathered thick together, he began to say, This is an evil generation, they seek a sign, and there shall no sign be given it, but the sign of Jonah the prophet. Jonah was a sign for an evil generation. Jesus Christ fulfilled the first sign of Jonah by his resurrection. Jesus Christ will fulfill the latter day sign of Jonah at his return. Jonah chapter 3 and verse 4 And Jonah began to enter into the city about a day's journey, and he cried and said, Yet forty days and Nineveh shall be overthrown. Where was Nineveh? Nineveh is in Iraq, modern day Iraq. So Nineveh is in the land of Assyria, Babylon. Revelation chapter 17 and verse 5. And upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. Jonah chapter 3 and verse 4. And Jonah began to enter into the city a day's journey. So the city was that big, it took a day to actually walk around it. A day represents a year. Christ spends a year with his bride before going to war for 40 years. Deuteronomy chapter 24 and verse 5 When a man has taken a new wife, he shall not go out to war, neither shall he be charged with any business, but he shall be free at home one year, and shall cheer up his wife which he has taken. Jonah chapter 3 and verse 4 And he cried and said, Yet forty days and Nineveh shall be overthrown. In forty years Babylon, the type of Nineveh, will be overthrown. Luke chapter 17 and verse 26 And as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it also be in the days of the Son of Man. Genesis chapter 7 and verse 17 And the flood was forty days upon the earth. Forty year flood of war engulfs the earth. The papacy, the Antichrist, will be defeated in the year 2060. The wars begin in 2020. Christ defeats Russia or Gog, Assyria, in 2027 with an earthquake such as never was. See Zechariah chapter 14 and verse 4 and verse 6, Ezekiel chapter 38 and verse 20, Ezekiel chapter 39 and verse 4, and the book of Micah chapter 5 and verse 6. The seventh vial has been poured. Jesus Christ destroyed Assyria. Babylon is next. The war of God Almighty is at hand. Jesus Christ then declares himself King of Kings and Lord of Lords. The first Nineveh repented. The latter day Nineveh does not repent. Revelation chapter 18 and verse 6 Reward her even as she rewarded you, and double unto her, double according to her works, in the cup which she has filled, fill to her double. Revelation chapter 18 and verse 5 For her sins have reached unto heaven, and God has remembered her iniquities. The papacy makes war with Jesus. Revelation chapter 17 and verse 12 And the ten horns which thou sawest are ten kings which have received no kingdom as yet but received power 
as kings one hour with the beast one hour equals 30 years from 2030 to 2060 the papacy Babylon wages war with Jesus Christ Psalm 2 and verse 2 the kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against Yahweh and against his anointed Psalm 2 and verse 4 He that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh The Lord shall have them in confusion Revelation chapter 17 and verse 4 These shall make war with the Lamb And the Lamb shall overcome them For he is Lord of Lords and King of Kings And they that are with him are called and chosen and faithful